In the last movie, we saw how to get PHP turned on and working with Apache, and we saw how to use the PHP info function in order to output our current configuration information for PHP. We also see that we have version 5.3 installed by default. We're going to upgrade that now to the latest version of PHP. If we go to the PHP website, you'll see that the latest version at the moment, this is 5.5 alpha, that's not a fully released version, it's an alpha version, over here it tells us the current stable version of PHP 5.4 is 5.4.11. So that's what I want to install. Now the odds are very good that by the time you do this installation, that will have changed. It will be a later version. You want to use whatever the latest version is. You don't need to use what I'm using. Go ahead and install the later version. If 5.5 is out, go ahead and use 5.5 as well. Now if we look at the manual for PHP, and that can be found from the documentation area, if you look down, there is installation configuration as one of the options, and installation on Mac OS X is an option. This will give us the latest information about installing PHP on Mac OS X. Using packages is the one that we want to click. That's by far and away going to be the easiest, and it gives us some suggestions on ways to do that. If you're familiar with any of these, Mac ports, Fink, or Homebrew, you definitely want to go with one of those options. It's going to be very simple. So if you're familiar with those, you already have those working, those are a great choice for keeping your PHP upgraded. If not, though, you're going to want to use another package to install. They suggest something called Entropy, but Entropy is no longer supported and maintained, and you can see that is listed here in this user contributed notes. Instead, it's being maintained at this URL here. So I've already gone to that URL. Here it is. It's php-osx.liip.ch. This is where this PHP package is being maintained. This is considered a safe and reputable source for installing PHP. You can actually browse the code that they've got that they're using here if you want to make sure that it's safe, but I think you can trust it. So if you look down, they give you some simple one-line installations that you can use. This is very nice. If we want PHP 5.4, well, guess what? We just have to copy this line right here, and I can do that with Command-C, and then we can go over here to our terminal and just paste it in and hit Return. And it will now install this version for us. So it's getting the package. It wants our password to install because it's installing some software. And then it will start installing. So we'll just sit and wait while it finishes doing its thing. So now that that worked, we're ready to check it out. Let's go back to our PHP info page and let's just hit reload. Let's reload the page. And you can see now I'm running 5.4.11. So that's the version that it installed for me. Now, if you go back and you go to your command line, I just want to show you if you do php-v, you actually still get version 5.3. It still tells you that you're running 5.3. That's because both of them are still installed, and the web server is pointing at one of them, while the command line is looking at a different one. So don't let that throw you. This is the authoritative one. This is the one that tells you what Apache sees and what Apache is using. And since we're not going to be running PHP from the command line, we're only going to be running PHP through Apache, that's what matters most. Now that we have it upgraded, we have PHP 5.4 installed, now we're ready to do some configuration of PHP.